This isn't really a prepared lightning talk. I just want to say a few words. So uh, it was wonderful to see how many people were here. I've been doing Ruby since before 2003. Uh, there was a time when very few people were getting paid to write Ruby code. So it's wonderful to see so many new faces. But what I realized when I was talking to someone next to me is that um, like we got this project to the point where everybody in the world who actually wrote Ruby code knew what this project was, and now people have no idea. So I thought I should say a few words. Uh, this is called Rubinius. It's an implementation. Uh, it's, a, it's a dynamic language system that happens to run Ruby code fairly well. I recently, as in yesterday, wrote a quick post asking basically who's using Ruby or not, uh, for what and why, because um, the world is changing a lot. For instance, this was a recent talk uh, by Adrian Cockcroft. He was the uh, CTO maybe at Netflix. He's talking about how cloud adoption went and then 2014 Docker you know, basically went through the roof. So microsystems, containers, DevOps, all these things are changing our world pretty dramatically. 10 years ago to five years ago is really different from five years ago to today. Uh, Rails is an amazing framework, uh, very opinionated. It's got a particular style of writing app applications. And what I'm really curious about is how people are doing things in Ruby today uh, so uh, this post has a link to a survey in it, who's using Ruby or not, for what and why. We've gotten some pretty great responses so far, but I would love more uh, data about that. So uh, please take a look at that. The Rubinius website is rubini.us, so Rubinius with a dot before the US. Uh, recently, I was at um, So Coded in Hamburg, Germany, and I gave a talk called The Next 10 Million Programmers. And uh, there's a few things in the talk. If there's a post, you can watch the video, or you can look at the slides, which will be kind of confusing if you don't have the video with it or this post. Um, but basically, what I'm talking about is um, something that we just talked about a little bit. Business Insider wrote a post called The 12 Most Influential Programmers Today. Wow, look at all the white guys. <laughs> <laughs> Where's, Where's Ada Lovelace? <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> So uh, this is really important to me. I happen to be a white guy, um, and I don't, like, I don't like how our industry goes. I don't like to see that inequality. And one of the things that I would like to see, I mean, you know, we just heard some fantastic um, you know, possibilities for addressing this. The one that I'm most focused on because of what I work on is how can I make Rubinius and the project and the community around Rubinius um, inclusive and diverse, and how can I empower people to solve their problems? So this post is a lot about that, and there's a couple key things. One is uh, a way of making decisions called the advice process from a fantastic book called Reinventing Organizations that I highly recommend. Uh, this idea of a network of collaboration instead of a hierarchy or a hub and spoke where there's a central person that's very important and everybody else is sort of down there. And this idea of roles. Uh, in tech, we tend to overemphasize tech. In open source, we overemphasize tech to an order of magnitude greater. So it's the top committers who are in the core team, that sort of thing. Um, I would love to see roles in open source project, and I'm specifically working on this for Rubinius, something like a diversity architect, uh, a community wellness custodian. Some of these words are really hard to figure out. Um, accessibility advocate, readability guardian, underrepresented group seeker. I don't even know what you know that, that thing, like what you would say for that, but that idea, a roles designer, uh, discussion facilitator, um, these, these are the sorts of things that I would love to see. So this, this post is out there. I would love for you to take a look at it um, and give us feedback. And finally, today I wrote a post about how we're using Gitter IM instead of IRC to try to make communication around this project more accessible. Um, so I invite you to come join us and talk to us about it. I am back in Portland, lived here for many years. We moved to Chicago, pursuing a job you know, to continue working on Rubinius and do cool things in, in Ruby. Um, we are back. I'm still working for the company in Chicago, uh, but I'm really interested in, in engaging with more people in Portland. And like I said, it was amazing. It's too bad to see that like two thirds of the people already left, but it's amazing to see everyone um, in the Portland area that are doing Ruby and stuff like that. So thank you very much. And please, you know, grab me. Um, I am pretty much on Gitter, you know, every day, and I am Brixen B R I X E N at uh, Twitter and Gmail and. GitHub and pretty much everywhere. So thank you.